Bonjour, bonjour. Bonjour, amici. Oh no, we're in, we're in France. Oh, I know, I know, I just can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're really excited, as you can tell, to be here in Paris this week for one of Web3's biggest calendar events, Ethereum Community Conference, or ECC. Absolutely, we've been super busy going around the city, meeting with customers, onboarding new Web3 devs, and innovating with Alchemy. And what's also really exciting about this week is that it's bookended by two amazing hackathon experiences. We have the Solana Hacker House at the very beginning, which we'll show you more about in a second, and then also the ECC Hackathon. So in this episode, so we're really excited to spotlight some amazing builder stories building across multiple chains and show you some really actionable tips for how you can get started building in Web3 with Alchemy. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> So, earlier this week, we got to catch up with the Solana ecosystem at the Solana Hacker House here in Paris. It was really awesome to see so many new Web3 developers entering the ecosystem, but a lot of existing and experienced developers scaling their projects from other chains over here on Solana. A lot of people are really excited that Alchemy Supernode is now available on Solana. Why don't we go take a look together? So, I'm with my new friend Colin here. Awesome. Um, super nice to meet you at Solana Hacker House today. Yep, awesome. So yeah, I'm Colin from the developer relations team at Solana. Um, also work on the Solana Pay team. And it kind of was just an incredible experience being at the Paris Hacker House, uh, meeting teams in the ecosystem. First time meeting the Alchemy team, so yeah, it's just kind of like great to be here. What are some highlights so far that you've seen from the Hacker House? Projects that are being built, some themes? We always have like interesting projects kind of like coming around and kind of that like you meet. But I think what I'm more personally interested in it's kind of like seeing the builders in the ecosystem themselves about how they found it kind of onboarding into the ecosystem and also like in terms of resources that they require because almost like irrespective of what development stage that you're at there is some documentation that you're going to need to read there is some like you know new features that you want to build that you need the resources for that's a great point so i'm actually curious like what is your recommended way for people to onboard into Solana? right the most obvious way is the solana cookbook that's where we have like all of the reference implementations we also have like the official solana course which you can be found on um, soldev.app slash course and most recently we have the beta of our Solana Stack Exchange, which I think is gonna like yes, be, yeah. it's gonna open up like just massive discoverability. So if you wanna support the Solana Stack Exchange, make sure you go there. Please do, yeah. Answer some yeah. questions, yeah. upload some things, awesome. And uh, how'd you hear about Alchemy? <laughs> cool, it's actually interesting. I actually heard about Alchemy before I got into Solana itself. Um, I think I was doing like some Ethereum tutorial, kind of like just to get my hands-on experience on the blockchain. Yeah. And I, um, as part of that tutorial, it recommended setting up like my notes on Alchemy and kind of like got to use the platform that way. So I'm like super excited to have Alchemy on the Solana blockchain to kind of, you know, the competition kind of helps everyone kind of like sharpen yeah, their tools. So definitely. yeah, it's, it's good. And it's healthy yeah. competition. Yeah. So yeah, happy to have That's you guys sweet. on the platform. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, it's, it's great nice to meet you guys in person. Yeah, yeah. 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 it's been great. I'm Harsh and uh, I'm an open source developer in Solana. Currently I'm working on a couple of projects. One is related to governance, so trying to integrate ZK tokens with governance. And the second one is I'm building an anchor wrapper around uh, SPL token 2022 for the extensions. Nice. And you're also part of uh, Super Team DAO. Yeah, right? I'm, I'm a part of Super Team DAO. Super Team DAO is a community that formed last year and uh, helps Solana projects in the Asia, Asia, Southeast Asia. We are a team of developers, contributors, and content creators. And we help Solana projects scale, basically, help with uh, funding. Hi everyone, um, I'm Nader, I am developer relations with Celestia and I'm excited to be here. Awesome, thanks for joining us. What is the best way for a new developer to get started in Web3? I think the best way to get started is just to start taking action and start building stuff and also start interacting with the community. I think those two things combined, you know, just going out there, finding people in the community that are building stuff, people that are sharing knowledge and following them and trying to maybe get to know them by either 
interacting with them on social media or finding out what communities they're hanging out in and, and talking to them there is a really great uh, way to start building um, a network of people that you can maybe reach out to and ask questions to and then find the type of content that resonates with you. There's blog posts, there's videos, there's um, open source projects, there's all types of stuff, Red to Web 3. Start writing some code immediately um, and even if you don't know, understand what the code is doing, just write it and, and, and run it. And then um, when you're done with like the Hello World tutorials, try to continue adding new features. Awesome. Natter has a great channel, by the way, so definitely check it out. So for builders in the space, what would you suggest are great ways for, to help them scale? For scaling the technology itself, I was talking to someone today, and I don't know if this is accurate, but a few hundred transactions per second, whereas with something like uh, DynamoDB, I think I just read something that Amazon was handling like 100 million operations per second alone on one application. So when you start comparing the scale, like we're so far away from where we need to be. So that's one of the things that I'm excited about focusing on is like helping figure out how to scale. So I think that's a big challenge for Web3 is uh, figuring out um, how that we can kind of onboard the next 100 million users. Oh. Scaling communities, I think that Web3 offers like a lot of really unique building blocks for communities. So um, like NFTs and stuff, like what you all are doing in Alchemy mm -hmm. is really smart and fun and it's a great way to kind of build communities. The road to Web3, that's gaining more of my attention. I think it's just a really well executed and, and cool idea. So those sorts of things where you kind of combine community discussions along with education, along with like NFTs, seems like a good strategy. <laughs> yeah. It's really exciting. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for uh, coming on the, this episode. For sure. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Hi, I'm Angelina. I'm Chief of Staff at Alchemy, and we are here on the grounds of ETC Paris. And I'm just super, super happy to see so many more women involved in the community. And I have one of the most amazing women with me here today. Welcome, Steph. Thank you. Well, likewise, super amazing. Not only is she chief of staff, but she's also a jewelry designer. Flag me. Flag me. <laughs> I'm Steph. I'm a developer relations engineer at Polygon. And I've been in the space for about a year as a dev as well. Well, thank you so much again for being here. We just have a couple of questions for you. And number one is, what are the best ways to get started in Web3? So for me, that was hackathons. Hackathons were a great time block to learn how to build, but to be forced to build something in a specific amount of time and not fixate on things. So just solve a problem, build it, deploy it, done. Let's go. Yeah. Um, number two, advice for scaling projects. So I'm from Polygon, and I think the best way to scale a project is to build on Polygon. It's a scaling solution for Ethereum, and it makes transactions a lot faster and cheaper, mm -hmm. but you get to keep the security that you get with Ethereum. Perfect. And what are the trends you're currently seeing in Web3? Yeah, so at ETCC, a, a trend that kept coming up um, was getting back to the fundamentals. Through the last bull market, we saw unsustainable growth from a lot of different projects and companies. Um, but with kind of the space dialing it all back, we're getting back to the fundamentals, building more sustainably, yeah. and thinking critically about the way we're building projects yeah. um, so that they're regenerative. Oh, perfect, perfect. And honestly, like, we started this conversation, you know, I'm happy to see more women in Web3. Yes. But like, how do we continue growing this diversity that we currently like have? Like, it's been a struggle for a while, and I'm seeing huge changes right now, but you know, what else can we do? I think by getting more women and non-binary diverse folks to come to conferences like this and see that there's room for everyone, everyone has something to contribute, and we need those perspectives in order to build the space in a way that reflects everyone we're building for, not just the people here. Completely agree. Thank you so much, Steph, for being Thank here. You. Yay! Paris! I'm with Steven here at the ETCC Hackathon. Uh, why don't you introduce yourself and tell us uh, what you're working on. Hey, uh, my name is Steven Kampen. I'm working on TrackOn.xyz, which is a smart contract dev tool and platform for uh, building, compiling, and uh, deploying, and checking, and uh, managing smart contracts. We use Alchemy for, as a node provider, and uh, we've uh, really appreciated the generous free tier to get us started, and uh, it's also been quite reliable. I uh, haven't had any downtime, which we saw with like QuickNode and a uh, little bit with Infura even. So we've been really happy and the API seems really well fleshed out. Awesome. That's that's super 
Good to hear. I'm also curious, uh, you mentioned earlier that you're looking into some of the APIs potentially. What are some of your needs there? What are you looking for? Yeah, to? well, uh, we need to track transactions for, for a contract address. Um, and actually, you know, with, with relatively low scale, it's hard to do that effectively by checking every block. So just using Alchemy's API to look ahead and find the transactions that we care about. Uh, that's really beneficial in, in terms of work required for us to build that feature. Awesome. Okay, cool. Yeah, and I, I would highly recommend uh, the Notify API, yeah, and I'll send you some documentation out. for that. Um, that way we can kind of like, uh, you, you tell us the addresses you want notifications yeah. for, we'll push it to you. So. Get some web books or something. Yeah, yeah exactly, Excellent. exactly. Yeah, awesome. Go check out. Great, thanks so much for joining me. Yeah, nice to meet you. So my name is Maxim. I'm an engineering student in FinTech here in Paris. And we use Alchemy so to develop tools. And yeah, Alchemy is a great solution, so I love it. Okay, so what we do today is we try to motivate people to cook at home more instead of uh, delivering. So we just require people to stake uh, some E. And if they don't upload a photo of what they cooked, their, uh, their steak will be donated to charity. So we previously, we also did an um, NFT project. It was like if you finish a boot camp or something like that, you get an NFT certificate. And we used like Alchemy for that and it was a very smooth experience, I think. Like previously, we also used Infura, but also switching to Alchemy, it was like uh, no problem at all. And yeah, we, we enjoyed the experience. Amazing! Our journey came to an end and thank you so much for following us here in Paris. It's been an amazing journey. Don't forget to follow us on YouTube to not lose any update from the Alchemy Farm. And if you want to get started building with $100 of free credit, uh, go to alchemy.com slash hackathons. The link should be here or in the card above or in the description. Go check it out, sign up for an account and reach out to us. We'd love to help you get started. So, amazing! Yeah. See you later! See ya! New ENS Ethereum name service Soar. It's a French project with a football and crypto. Yo, the coolest Web3 project right now is definitely Alchemy. The data that comes from the API calls is insane, man. There is a man with a lot of uh, ENS uh, printed. It was a, a funny moment. The rain. It's super hot out here, which <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be this hot. The one inch party was really cool. But the best party so far was the Flow Carbon party on the rooftop. Croissant. 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 Croissants. But they have to be filled with Nutella. None of them. Chocolatine. <laughs>